Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alanda Madeline, if you're new. And so today, we're going to go to Hopkins. And my four-year-old has to have an MRI done today. So we already dressed. I have some food, a little bit of food that's packed because we couldn't eat anything. We all had to fast on because he couldn't eat because he had to do the MRI. So I'm already dressed. I have this mix ball I was telling y'all about from Target. This smells really good. So I'll be putting this on today. Just a little spritz. It's like a after shower type spray. No perfume is needed. Just going to the hospital. And so, um, yeah. Um, I'll show you what I have on. I have on something really comfortable. I got on some stretch pants and these little flip flops. Be walking around the hospital. Yellow little top. Had the little rudges on the side um, with the little pocketbook there. And I have on like my yellow shades for the day. No makeup, just gloss because there's nothing to be cute about. We're taking care of some business. So I'll see you. It took us forever to find a day going park, but we on time. I'm glad it left a little bit more early. It's more uh, appointments than parking spaces out here. Come on, come here, baby. I'm um, dry. Say hi. Not showing your hair. <laughs> Put your hair back on, Paul. Say hi. See, he ain't good spurts right now. He don't like MRIs, but we have some food in this bag here for me and Karan to eat on. And then we have some stuff for him to eat once we leave because we haven't ate anything all day. So, guys, say your prayers for us. Say a prayer for him. Right? Okay. Yes. All right, guys. So they gave him some pants and a top to put on. <coughs> He's trying to tell y'all what he got to go through. So, and this is bag for his clothes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, come on. We're going to put your shoes back on, though. That's your shoes. Flip flops. Getting ready, though. Say your prayers. It's just the MRI, but just pray that we always want to pray. You got it? I'm sorry, I unbuttoned it. No, I'll take this off. Oh, keep that on. You got voice up like mommy. Wait 
We all have to fast, so that's what we're doing. We're making our way over to um, come on, making out. You have to go to the bathroom. Uh, let's see if you have to go. Why are we right here? Go ahead, give me the book bag. So, yeah, we just try to figure out, you know, figure out the eating part after he goes to the back because there's no way that we can be able to eat in front of my baby. So. Like I told you, we packed up too much. Pay the part. That brought food and snacks, so. is the, ch the children's center in Hopkins so I'm sure any procedure will be up here on this on this level here so we're just still waiting for him for them to um you know do the test with the MRI and I know that we're not going to get any results today so yeah um that's it basically just sitting here waiting and, um, that's 
100%. I'm really getting to the point where I feel like, you know, it is what it is with him being, you know, death and all. And um, I'm really honestly thinking about just leaving him alone because I'm just tired of keep putting him through this, even though it will become a, um, a great income at the end. But just to see his miserable face each time they have to, you know, sedate him and stuff like that. And that part I really, I really can't get with. So, he's really comfortable signing. And it was my decision to, you know, get the cochlear implants because I feel like <clears throat> that would be something really great for him. But I'm just not sure. So we'll just see how, um, you know, the results come and what the next move and stuff will be. Because I can't keep putting my baby through that stuff, through this stuff. So yeah, we're just waiting on him right now. And that's it. So we just wear with him right now. It's time to go. He's recovering. And um, we are at the elevators. And he had a popsicle. And he's doing well. He's feeling better, guys. So we just got to get this off of him. And that <laughs> band-aid there. And... Some little stuff there that they have on his chest, but you see that he's in good spirit and he's ready to eat. You ready to eat? Hmm? You want to eat? All right. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. All right. While the kids eating, I just wanted to get back on here just to say that anything that I post, uh on my vlogs it's nothing for anyone to even like feel sorry for me it's not no type of sympathy video or anything like that i'm just expressing my journey um you know in my life and um you know i know everybody have their own journey and stuff like that it's just that some people are not it's just they're not expressive or transparent as i am you know and um that's what makes me want to, uh, you know, start a YouTube channel because it you don't know who can be relative to your story or what you have been through in your life and stuff like that. I can write a book and I'm sure someone else can too. One of y'all can write a book too. So, um, you know, it's not about no sympathy thing or anything like that. This is my real life. I would love to express a lot more than what I do. It's just that that's cutting into other people's lives, their livelihood and stuff like that. And they're not like me where I'm putting, you know, um, my life on a platform. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. On social media, stuff like that. I just have to put that out there just in case someone look at my video and they have that thought in their mind like she want people to feel sorry for her or uh whatever the case may be no this is real life i just want to show people women that you can go on you can move on i never i used to wasn't in this situation before you know where a bad breakup um even i had experienced a bad marriage you know what i'm saying Women, you we still got to put our big drawers on and keep it moving. We still got to get things done. We got bills to pay, children to raise, you know what I'm saying? And we got to love on ourselves regardless if nobody else did. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of things that's in my life, it's not happening the way that I think that it should be because I'm very family oriented. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I don't express certain things. One day I might. I just might. You never know. Because I don't like the way a lot of things is going in my life. And it's not even so much of my life. It's the way that things are going. Period. You know, that affects my life. You know, and... um I do talk to a shrink. I talk to a shrink every week. I go visit every week. 
you know, and that helps me out along with prayer, you know, and for the people that's praying for me in my household, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get on here so you can get a better understanding that I'm just being transparent about my life on a platform, which is I which I choose YouTube. I mean, I was doing it already, even on Facebook, posting out pictures and stuff like that. But I was like, why not just do it, you know, and build a family on YouTube? Why not just, you know, show the world that somebody might not be alone in a situation, you know, that other people may be going through the same thing. We could be related to certain things, you know. So, that's all I had to say, you know, because people, you know, um, what I've learned, um, just being grown and just maturing and, you know, a lot of times when you do get kids, uh, you mature too. You don't have no choice because you got to make decisions, the best decisions for your household, you know. And um, I've noticed who root for me. I notice who don't root for me. I notice the fake motherfuckers. I've noticed a lot. I just don't acknowledge it. I don't see anything about it. I just, you know, got to make sure that I root for me and mine. You know what I'm saying? Do what I supposed to do as a woman and as a mother, as a child, as a friend, family member, employee, whatever. I just got to do exactly what I'm here for. And the truth don't need no support. That's why I don't mind making videos about my life. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, like I said, it's no thing like even just showing with um, my four-year-old getting those co cochlear implants, you know, and the process that we are facing leading up to getting that, you know, it's not for... A person now it's okay with your feelings or how you feel about it because you feel for him he's a bright child you know what I'm saying but far as me coming on here for sympathy or anything like that that ain't even that because we still gonna do it regardless if I'm on YouTube or not this is our life and this is my story and we live in it you know what I'm saying I don't have much support from like I thought I was going to have you know what I'm saying but I'm fine with that I'm content God got me. He reassured me every single day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it has been people coming in and out my life. You know what I'm saying? Since the beginning of time. Acting like they were for me. And they really wasn't. They was not for me. You know what I mean? So, after a few times, you're hurting yourself by allowing certain shit to keep happening over and over and over and over again. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm a hustler. I don't got everything. I, I'm an average. I live an average life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm a hustler because I'm getting things done. You know what I mean? I don't, my mom and my dad, they seniors. They're getting older. You know, stuff like that. My mom, she try her best to encourage me and things like that. And I really wholeheartedly, I really, really appreciate her. I appreciate, like, some of the, the family members in my family, my aunts, you know, some of my cousins and stuff who encourage me and really mean that shit from the bottom of their heart. You know what I'm saying? But when you are, you, when you real as shit, you can expose them fake motherfuckers that act like they feel you and they really not. You know what I mean? So sorry for talking like this, but I'm just being transparent. I'm just being honest, you know, and stuff like that. But I'm going to continue on with my videos. Well, if I go up to 100K or not, Ooh. this is what we do. This is what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and carry on. <laughs> here comes a time, time when you hear a certain call, call and the world must come together as one. As one. Make a better day 
So let's start giving. That's our choice to make it. We're saving all our lives. It's true to make a better day. Just you and me. When you're out, You just believe you know it's all well, 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 you realize Oh, it's time to get it up And we all together as one Yeah, yeah, yeah We are the world We are the children Tina trying to say. Well, partner, don't be a family. <laughs> we are the world. All the world. We are the children. We are the ones to make a better day. So let's start giving. What on? Um, who on? Um, what is that? Rachel. Yeah, what Rachel say? Come on here. Come on Rachel. here. We are the world. <laughs> we are the children. We are the ones to make a better day. So let's start giving. That's our choice we make. To make a better day, just you and me. I hope y'all guys enjoyed the concert that we gave you guys. I just wanted to um, mellow out for a minute, you know, um, just all the little things that we have been going through in our home. And um, it's just, you know, sometimes it can get a little bit discouraging and stuff, you know, just to um, be going through the process, especially when you feel like you're kind of alone, when you have to pretty much make the decisions and, um, you know, uh, and you want to make the best decisions for your household. And um, I always want to, you know, make sure that my kids feel at ease um, on any processes that we face. You know, so that is that. I had um, made a pot of spaghetti. Um, and my seven-year-old said, hey, Ma, I want some sour cream. And I'm like, sour cream? And I'm thinking, like, why would this boy want sour cream on top of his spaghetti? But I guess he felt like because of the ground beef that, uh, like, the tacos that we do, um, that I prepared for them that, so I just put a little sprinkle on the top, and um, that uh, he ate it. He really enjoyed it. He wanted the um, little cheese on top and the sour cream. So I did that, and um, so yeah, we have plans for the weekend, and I'm uh, just trying to cram in a few things because they start school next week. So I'm trying to cram in different things to do. So that's why that was part of making that spaghetti. So I wouldn't have to worry about dinner um, for maybe a day or so. Because, um, yeah, we have plans. Um, as I was telling you on my last video, that um, God has just blessed our house. And he always blessing us. And uh, so we're just going to celebrate. We're going to go out and celebrate. And I already made reservations for us to do some little activities for the boys and for myself. So right now, I'm, I'm just washing clothes and making sure there's no trash that need to be taken out around here. Because I hate leaving and having things just so unorganized to come home to, you know. So that's what we up to for now. 
Oh, I forgot that I wanted to um, do an unboxing. Um, just something that I had recently got as a gift. Phone runners. These shoes here. They all kind of look awkward to me, but that's why I like them. And not only that, I heard that they were good, comfortable shoes. So I had got these. Um, I got the natural color because I wanted to... Um, if I really liked them, I wanted to, to actually get them. I wanted to start off with like a neutral color that would go with a couple things, a few things. And um, I heard that they fit like a glove. So I'm trying to move them. Oh, yeah, they are comfortable. So I think I'm going to pack these with me because one of the places that we're going to. Oh, yeah, they are really, really, really comfortable. If anybody was interested in getting any or had any doubts, they're comfortable. I haven't walked in them yet. Um, the place that I'm going, I'm going to do a lot of walking. So, I'll see if they're as comfortable as the hype about these shoes. So, um, yeah, I'll just let you know if they're comfortable. I'm sure they've been out a while, so I'm sure... Some of you already own um, a pair. This is my first pair. And if I really, really like it, and I'll um, get another color. But I wanted to start off with a neutral color. And I like my gifts. So, is it raining outside? Yep. But, yeah, I just wanted to unbox um, these shoes. And um, they look like little space type shoes, but they are really comfortable. I still have the other pair on my foot. And, um, yeah, I might be packing these up. This is what made me remind to show you guys one of my gifts I had received recently. Okay. Okay, I just tried to prop y'all up a little bit. Hopefully y'all don't fall. I'm still washing clothes and drying. I'm just trying to get all my clothes cleaned up. So. <clears throat> yeah. so, I think I'm gonna end this vlog. I think I'm gonna end this vlog now, uh, because I want to make a weekend a separate vlog and that is a celebrating and all the little festivities for the weekend so thank you for visiting my channel my name is Alanda Madeline and I'll catch you on the next video please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell and I'll see you later bye bye